This person is the heartbeat of Dyke Road Park Tennis Club. Over the last 20 years, he's put in thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. He's always the first person to arrive and he's the last person to leave. He pretty much runs the club single-handedly. He picks the teams, he recruits the, the members, and he's particularly good at scouting out those new foreign students who are playing on the courts and getting them into the first team. But that's not enough. He runs the AGM, he's the captain, and he buys all the balls for the club. He's been a brilliant coach to us over the years, and there are thousands of people who've started as beginners in Brighton, who've then gone on to become improvers at his hand and ended up playing competitive, competitively for the club. All of Dyke Road uh, Park Tennis Club would like to say a big thank you and wish him another 20 more years organising us. It's with great pleasure that I can announce that the volunteer of the year is Cy Pollard. The Shepherd Cup recognises fair play and good sportsmanship in the under 14 girls age group. The girl who has won this award, I'm delighted to say I've known for five or six years and she has always been an incredible sport in every match, in every tournament that she has competed in and she is very highly respected amongst her peer group. Congratulations to Ellie Dassent. The Howard Robbins Award recognises one under 18 boy and one under 18 girl for their outstanding sportsmanship behaviour throughout the year. We are delighted to announce the winners being Louisiana Vine and Elliot Moyle. Congratulations guys. The next two awards are two very special awards for me indeed. They are the Pat McNamara Award and the Brian Edwards Award for the Under 18 County Cup Sports Boy and Girl of the Year, voted for by the players themselves. I'm delighted to be able to announce these awards because both Pat Mac and Brian Edwards were both very influential in my own junior days as a young player. I am pleased to announce the two winners are Helen Clements for the under 18 girls and Julian Cash for the under 18 boys. Congratulations, guys. Daddy, why do you like tennis in the park? Well, Nancy, I think Tennis in the Park is a fantastic community focused tennis club and it's a really fun place to go. Nancy, why do you think Tennis in the Park is so special? I really like tennis in the park because all the coaches are really nice and because it keeps you healthy and fit. It does, it's true. Thank you for those words. <laughs> <laughs> so we are delighted to be able to say that the winner of the 2012 Park of the Year award goes to Tennis in the Park! I chose this club because the atmosphere is good and friendly and welcoming. I feel like I can have a hit with juniors and adults when I need to. The committee puts on lots of events for us all and there's always a friend to me to hit with. Oh, so close. We also have new facilities like new astro courts, new acrylic courts that have been resurfaced and new floodlights so we can see in the dark. We also have really good coaching like Dan makes it fun and serious when it is needed and that is why I nominated my club. The award for the club of the year 2012 is a club that through concentrated effort of its chairman and committee members has gone from strength to strength. Their British tennis membership of the club has increased by 25% since January 2011 and the number of regularly competing juniors by over 200% over the same period of time. The latter being helped by the coach 
running junior coaching sessions every Wednesday evening. This coaching programme has helped the club gain Clubmark accreditation. Over many years, the club has run a week-long major junior tournament in the county. The club has six men's teams and two ladies' teams in the county leagues, with the men's first team performing exceptionally well in Division 1 of both the summer and winter leagues. During the year, the club has successfully carried out major improvements to the club's facilities. Three of the courts have been resurfaced with AstroTurf to add to the four porous acrylic courts and the seven are now all floodlit. From experience that is some achievement when surrounded by housing. I think the planning application must have been a very good one. So it is therefore with great pleasure that I can announce that the 2012 Tennis Club Award for the year is to Seaford and Blatchington this award is for the Junior Player of the Year. This player is a hard worker, has combined his GCSEs with his tennis. He won both the Winter and Summer Nationals. He was winner of a Grade 4 ITF in Luxembourg and has an ITF ranking of 250. The Junior Player of the Year is Julian Cash. Okay, this year's uh, Junior Team of the Year had a fantastic uh, tough group which they won in the regionals where they beat uh, Kent and Middlesex which really strong counties having saved match points then they went on to the finals which was held up in Bolton where I travelled up there with them and we had great fun on the trip with Vuvuzela's uh, music blaring in the back of the car so fantastic team spirit on the way up Team did really, really well. We got to the semi-finals of the main competition, losing to the eventual winners, Workshire, having had a match point against them. And they went on to win it. So, absolutely fantastic effort. Team spirit was brilliant. Uh, the tennis parents, brilliant. We made more noise than any other team in the whole competition with uh, Chris Fox and Dick Swan, who were really, really very vocal at the event. And also the, uh, the wives as well, not to miss them. And uh, just to sort of put a full stop on it, I'm pleased to announce this year's uh, Junior Team of the Year were the Green Ball Teranunda County Cup girls team, which was Isabella Swan, Sonny Cartel, Saffron Dows, and Tiana Fox, with Julie Hobbs as the captain. Ladies and gentlemen, for the second year in a row, the Sussex Ladies 35s team are the, were the winners of the Inter-County 35s Ladies Championships. In playing in Division 1, the Sussex team, captained by Stephanie Trill and with Julie Hanger, Helen Mitchell, Julie Hobbs and Jenny Hughes and Kate Bloomfield, put in a wonderful team performance. This event was held at Devonshire Park in August. They did have some challenges uh, with some rain delays to start with, but uh, after having a non-event against Middlesex, the team went on to win against Surrey by three matches to two, and they defeated Yorkshire by five matches to nil. At last year's Tennis Sussex AGM, I remember congratulating the ladies 35s on winning the National Inter-County Championships and I said that they could justifiably claim to be the leading 35s team in the United Kingdom. Well, they've now proved it. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me enormous pleasure to announce that the winners of the Adult Team Sussex Tennis Adult Team Award for 2012 is the Sussex Ladies 35s team. This award is for the Junior Achievement of the Year. This player is an exceptionally hard worker and has managed to combine full-time education with his tennis. He finished the year with an ITF ranking of 550. After an up and down start to the season, this player had a great lead into the summer. Following a wild card playoff, he was given a wild card into the Grade 1 at Roehampton where he recorded a win against a top 50 ITF player. This result meant that this player got a wild card 
into junior Wimbledon. After a tight three set match, unfortunately this player lost to a top 10 player in the world. Winner of the Junior Achievement of the Year Award goes to Tommy Bennett. I have nominated this person for Coach of the Year Award as he is quite simply a fantastic coach who works incredibly hard to make his club the best. He is passionate about making sure everyone enjoys their tennis, whatever their ability, and makes it accessible to everyone. I have had many coaching sessions with this person and each one has been full of energy and enthusiasm but above all, great fun. We are so lucky to have such a great coach at our club who has so much experience and expertise to pass on and he really knows how to get the best out of people and motivate them. He has transformed the area of the park in which the club stands and now it is a real asset to the community. He is an inspiration to so many people and really deserves this award which is why I'm really pleased to say that the award for Coach of the Year 2012 goes to Francis Mackey.